what got me excited about it is Shrek's problem. He's not the same Shrek that he was in the first Shrek film. He's He's a father now, he's got responsibilities, he has chores, people expect a lot out of him. He's, you know, he's hosting children's birthday parties. He's not that same ogre that he was in the original Shrek. And uh, he's lost a bit of himself. And I, I thought that was really interesting to start uh, a Shrek movie, giving him a problem that I felt that he would really have, that this is a very real problem. He's very invested in the Shrek character, and Mike is also very much into story. And so there's a lot of uh, discussions and back and forth that we have that really, I think, elevates the scene and a lot of times makes it a lot funnier. Like, Mike is a really funny guy, and uh, if there's something he wants to try, we try it and we do it, and a lot of that ended up in the film. Well, again, this is Shrek. It's the final chapter, and we wanted to bookend uh, the movie with I'm a Believer, which was the song that uh, was in the... Uh, uh, in the first movie, it ended the first movie, and so we we wanted to end the movie with I'm a Believer, and but we didn't want to use the same song. We wanted it to be different and really energetic, and so Weezer was the you know greatest band to bring us that, and they really delivered, and they made a very energetic, jump out of your seats song, I'm a Believer. There's so many things that are satisfying to me, I can't even believe it. Um, I think the most satisfying thing is working on the story and really having the time to craft and tell a story that uh, is not only really funny, really exciting, but also like has some real emotion to it. And that's, that's been the funnest thing for me.